Our guest host this morning is Jack Welch, executive chairman of the Jack Welch uh, Management Institute. We are we we, we want to talk about that, Jack. Do you want to talk about that now, or do you want to talk about um, you know what we're talking about with Comey, Loretta Lynch, Hillary, things like that? Well, there's lots of things we can talk about, but I mean, if you, if you just spend a minute on the school, if you would, sure. We're we're we're, we're going to go over 1,200 students this semester. Uh, it's extremely exciting to see the growth. Still 40 percent a year. And uh, the outcomes are just fabulous. And we get reports every week of another promotion somebody got, something happening. It is so exciting. Now, it's taken them 30 months to get this, normally, on, the, on average. But they are killing themselves at, to get this degree. And they are earning from the degree real rewards in the workplace. We have a mission. And every faculty member has that mission change the lives of our students. They live it every day, and it's happening. And the, and the student response is incredible. But when you get a mission around student success, and you get an NPS score, which is the net promoter score, which tells you the satisfaction, and everybody is measured by how the students feel about the school. The faculty, too. The fa yeah. And how they feel about the faculty. And the faculty drives that it's the most exciting. It's, the, it's where education's going. More and more online. More, we've got to make education more available, more affordable. I mean, our, our, our economic proposition is $39,000. You keep your job versus $300,000, and you give up your job. I mean, and you take two years off from the workplace in your career. So the, the, and that economic proposition can go all the way down to trade schools, to all kinds of schools. By the way, it's flexibility, too. Uh, totally. To be able to take the courses outside of uh, work When hours. you need them, when you want them, yeah. Asynchronous. Where, where do most of these students come from? Where, where are you finding them? Well, we're finding them. Uh, LinkedIn is one, one of our real sources of, uh, of uh, Interesting. student. But, but, but also, Word of mouth now. These come from all the great companies. If you look at all the companies they're at, they're all coming from the big name brands, whether it's a GE or a Home De 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 Depot or Procter and Gamble, or you name it, and they're coming from their Boeing. You so it, but I think the more the more important point is education has got to change. The teachers have got to be aligned with the students. Right now, education, no matter where you go, take care of the faculty. The students happen to be a detail who bring the money in to support the administration, which is piling up vice deans, deans, because you see more deans per square inch in a university than anywhere else. And that overhead is just being passed on to the students. And kids are getting crippled with debt. Right. 